Welcome back. So this is going to be my part two of the Herbst Nebel mix. Um, there was a general request to see uh, the um, master bus and also to get an overview over the send effects. And I uh, gladly fulfill uh, this wish. So maybe let's start with the master bus because actually it's nothing special. Um, I did only some uh, preliminary uh, mastering and the first actual sound tool I used is FGX from um, Slate Digital. It's a master boost compressor limiter which claims to um, keep the dynamics of the mix uh, while uh, turning up the gain. So uh, this plugin uh, consists of two stages. The first stage is a compressor, which I used for gluing. Gluing means low ratio. And the second stage is the uh, gain tool, which uh, where, where you can adjust the punch and details and dynamic perception. Um, I like this plugin and it well fulfilled its purpose. Uh, well, the second one is easily explained. It's a, a brick wall limiter and that's it for the master bus. So I think the more interesting part is my um, chain of uh, sand effects. And I'm going to showcase them now. Um, I suggest we start with the vocals on the chorus and we will listen uh, in detail to these effects and I will also show which plugins I used. So let's first switch to the chorus in a moment. So that's the last one. Du mein Sonnenschein, ein Licht am Tunnelende. Alright, so, these are the vocals. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende. So, let's switch them off. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende. So, the first sound effect is the so-called Big Echo and it sounds like this. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende. And there is the plugin. It's Echo Boy and where you can see the um, values for yourselves. So, the second one, the vocal doubler. Wait a moment. So now you can read it. The vocal doubler sounds like this. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, <coughs> mein Licht am Tunnelende. Let's exaggerate it a bit. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende. So that's way too much, but now you can hear what the effect is actually doing. Let's reset it. Okay. So what's the plugin behind the effect? Well, <laughs> it could be again. Here are the settings. Funny, cheap tape, but nevertheless sounding great. So, 
So now the third one is the vocal plate. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende. I turn it up a bit. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende. So it's a very bright and short uh, plate reverb. And it's coming from, surprise, UAD EMT 140. So again, these are the settings. Reverb, very short. Right. The next one is uh, vocal delays. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende, die Freude meines Lebens. So this is a ping pong delay, and I used Super Tap Two from Waves for this purpose. And here you can see the settings. Okay. Last but not least, the final one, which is switched on only in the last chorus, it's the medium echo. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende, die Freude meines Lebens, mein Glück Tag aus Tag ein. So this is a, a ping pong delay with uh, feedback cranked up, which uh, I previously used on the drum bus. Now I use it also for the vocals. And here is the plugin. It's Super Tap 2 again from Waves. So that's it for the... Uh, Send effects chain. You can see them again. All six. And here again are the plugins. The one I didn't show is uh, the room plugin, which I didn't use for the voice. And for the room, I use Valhalla Room. With these settings. And there is also the long soft verb. And for the long soft verb I use Valhalla Vintage Verb in the concert hall settings and with some parameter tweaking. Right, so what else? I'd like to show you something I did on the automation lanes in the last chorus. Um, as I mentioned in part one, one idea in the last chorus was to add a new element, which is the lead guitar. Du warst mein Sonnenschein, mein Licht am Tunnelende, die Freude mein... Which you can hear on the left side, if I solo it. So now what, what you didn't hear uh, during the whole mix is the fact that there is a, a very dynamic automation going on on the lead guitar. And the only purpose of this automation is to avoid um, that the lead guitar um, disturbs the vocals. 
So while um, uh, drawing this automation with a fader, I listened to the whole mix, concentrated on the vocals, and was uh, continually trying to keep the lead guitar out of the way of the voice. So if you listen to it in solo, it may sound funny because it's becoming louder and softer and so on. So you would never do this if you listen to the lead guitar in solo, but in the context of the mix together with the voice, you won't hear the automation and the voice is not disturbed. Okay, uh, I also would like to show you the shortly the automations I did in the voice. So, in my opinion, this is very important. I, I think you uh, should spend your time. Uh, this took me about one hour, but it really pays off. And in my opinion, uh, manual automation of the vocals is um, always more natural than using a compressor. Right. For the last goodie, I, I'm showing you the instruments and the synths I used. Most of the sounds came from uh, the uh, hardware Motif XS from Yamaha. So the Rhodes is a Yamaha sound. This is Yamaha. Also the strings and the pad. Uh, the drums are also from Yamaha Motif. Only the guitars are virtual instruments and I used real guitar. Uh, wait a moment. Yeah, it is. I used the real strat in uh, conjunction with Amplitube. So this is, for example, the setting for the mute guitar and the last chorus and for the uh, interlude I used a distorted guitar, in this case a real Les Paul from Music Labs and also Amplitude in this setting. So. That's about it. I hope I could uh, fulfill your curiosity and wish you a good time. Goodbye.